You do everything that we've asked you to do since we've been here. Everything. Do we believe? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, baby. Good win. Turn that damn juice Turn on. Welcome to Inside Arkansas, and today we are counting down the top five Razorback newcomers for Razorback football in 2024. Number five, defensive lineman Anton Junkaj. At 6'3", 272 pounds, Anton Junkaj was one of the diamonds in the rough the Hogs found inside the transfer portal. On December 18th, Junkaj entered into the portal from Albany and committed to the Hogs just a few weeks later. Played in all 15 games for an Albany team that won the Coastal Athletic Association title, as well as making it to the FCF semifinals, he earned first-team All-American honors from the Associated Press after leading all of FCS with 15 sacks and finished third with 21 and a half tackles for loss as part of his season total 55 total tackles, which included 34 solos, as well as 12 quarterback hurries, five forced fumbles, and three pass breakups. He recorded at least one sack in 10 of 15 games and multiple sacks in three games. He started the season with a monster game against Fordham, recording a career-high four sacks as part of the six-tackle performance with a forced fumble and quarterback hurry. Anton Junkaj had plenty of offers to other major schools across the SEC as well as the country, but he decided that Arkansas was the best place for him, and playing for Deke Adams and Sam Pittman was the right move. Number four, quarterback Taylon Green. At 6'6", 230 pounds, Taylon Green was named QB1 early in spring practice and hasn't really looked back since. It didn't take long for Green to decide Arkansas was the place to be. He entered into the transfer portal from Boise State on December 4th, 2023 and officially transferred to the Hogs just a week later. As a redshirt sophomore, he played in 13 games with 12 starts while completing 121 of 212 passes for a 57.1% completion percentage as well as 1,700 yards and 11 touchdowns on the year. He also rushed for 436 yards and nine touchdowns on 78 carries, which was good enough for a 5.6 yards per carry. He had two multi-passing touchdown games during the season and doing so at Utah State and at UNLV in the Mountain West Conference Championship game. He also had two multi-rushing touchdown games, rushing for a pair of scores against San Jose State, as well as UNLV in the Mountain West Conference Championship game once again. In fact, he saved his best performance of the season for the Mountain West Conference Championship game, where he earned offensive MVP honors after completing 12 of 15 passing, for 226 yards, and two touchdowns while also rushing for 90 yards and two scores on just eight carries to lead Boise State to its record fifth Mountain West Conference Championship. When Bobby Petrino arrived at Arkansas as offensive coordinator, head coach Sam Pittman told him to go get your quarterback. Petrino only wanted one from the transfer portal, and that one was Taylon Green. Number three, linebacker Zavion Sori. At 6'3", 225 pounds, the transfer from Georgia was the number 35 player overall and the number fourth linebacker overall in the 2021 high school class. Barton Simmons of 24-7 Sports had this to say about him coming out of high school. He's an above average height as a linebacker with strong upper body that is still filling out and is far from maxed out, but his length drives his range on defense, particularly in pass coverage. As a redshirt sophomore in 2023 for the Bulldogs, he played in 11 games with two starts. He finished the year with 19 total tackles, 15 of them solo, and one and a half tackles for loss, including one sack. He recorded one pass breakup and was credited with five quarterback pressures. He tallied a team high six tackles, including five solo against UAB, and had a sack for loss of two yards against Auburn, broke up a pass against Kentucky, and started at linebacker and racked up five solo tackles in the SEC championship game against the Alabama Crimson Tide. Number two. Offensive lineman, Fernando Carmona. Fernando is 6'5", 322 pounds, and he was a huge get for Sam Pittman in order to address the major issues that the offensive line had just a year ago. At San Jose State as a redshirt sophomore, he was honorable mention all Mountain West Conference honoree. He started all 12 regular season games on the offensive line, guiding San Jose State to a co-regular season Mountain West Championship. He played in a total of 765 total snaps and finished the season with an overall grade of 81.5, according to Pro Football Focus. He also logged a pass block grade of 81 and a run block grade of 78.9. He allowed just two sacks in 424 passing attempts, and he also anchored a San Jose State rushing attack that ran for 223 yards in the regular season finale against UNLV. Carmona also had plenty of offers to other SEC schools, as well as some other major schools across the Power 5 college football rankings. So getting him added to the offensive line was priority for Sam Pittman and new offensive line coach Eric Mateos. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications for all of our videos here at Inside Arkansas. Number one, Jaquindon Jackson. Coming in as the number one newcomer for the 2024 Arkansas Razorbacks, it's running back Jaquindon Jackson. Jackson is a transfer from Utah, where in 2023 as a redshirt junior, he played in 12 regular season games at Utah with 11 starts, leading the Utes in carries at 161, rushing yards at 797, and rushing touchdowns with four and 100-yard games at three. He put up a career best of 129 yards on 19 carries with just one reception for 11 yards and a victory over Baylor in Baylor. He also averaged 7.7 .7 yards a carry while running for 69 yards against Weber State. Standing at 6'3", 235 pounds, there haven't been many weaknesses that have been seen from Jaquindon Jackson in his spring practice as well as fall camp. Just like Taylor Green, Jaquindon Jackson was named the number one running back going into spring ball and hasn't looked back since. Jaquindon is also one of those players that has all the respect from his teammates and also the highlight film speaks for itself over on the Razorbacks Twitter account as well as from the spring game this past spring in Fayetteville. So there you have it. There are the top five Razorback newcomers for Razorback football heading into the 2024 season.